How you doing there? Look, I know I'm very attractive, but you need to get back on your side of the Oh, screen. now we talking that shit. Do we need the compilation time now? Do we need to just go back and easily find all the times where you cut your face off like you're doing right now? Where's your ear at? Where's your ear at? You have no virtual reality space concept at all. By the way, just so you know, I'm pretty sure in all of my Twitter videos I just posted, uh -huh. my face is cut off. That's bullshit. Scoot up. That's what we're going to do. That's what our problem is. We're too far back. It's making the camera look awkward. Just get in there. Bring it in. Forget it a little bit. There we go. Dude, guys, I hate when people try to censor video games. I don't know why there aren't more high graphic games where you could just be fucking. I don't get it. You just put your dick on tables? That's never an option. They don't be like, Paragon option, you know, save the world. Renegade option, put your dick on the table, right? It's never a thing. Nobody wants to play. I would like to do that at least one time. And make your own game. Ooh, what a tasty, delicious idea. Times that trying to censor video games totally backfire. We might have seen this already. And uh, if so, now we're doing it with Skitten. And if not, we're doing it with, with us. And we'll cut her face out. <laughs> Of the video. Wait, Black why box. am I? Why am I? Censored. Why is my face getting blood? How does that feel? How does it feel to be censored? How does it feel? Talk to him. Bad. It feels bad. I don't want to be censored. You're censored. They can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but please talk to them. I don't want to talk anymore. Mm hmm. We should put a black box over your titties. Censored! Titty censorship! I can censor my own boobs. Censored titty censorship! Now my boobs are censored. Me and Skitten like playing video games together, though. We have a good time. We do. Yeah. We don't play any games that really need to be censored, though. Nidhogg. You cut people's limbs off. But that doesn't need to be censored. That's what I'm saying. That's how I feel about all of it. None of it needs to be censored. What Let's else? Let's try it out. What else? Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark. You censored in Dark Souls. <laughs> well, nothing, but I'm just saying, if we were going to censor something, censor Dark Souls. Make you feel better. <laughs> play better music when you die or some <laughs> pussy shit. Feel sad, nigga. That's what you need to feel. All right, let's do it. No matter how violent, depraved, or overtly <laughs> sexual a video game Ooh. is, rallying the public in an effort to censor a title will always bring more attention to the game in question. If you tell the gaming audience that they can't play a game, they're going to want to play it. So tell your folks, buy me, bounce time, I go to hell! Here are a few examples when video game censorship <laughs> went very wrong. Hmm, all right, I'm ready. Hmm. If you Death think race. public outrage over video games is a modern thing, think again. Xcd's Death Race is a what? 1976 arcade title. Yeah, which we plays just saw this in the video game black and white screen, thing. running over yeah. stick figures to gain points. Officially, the creatures are gremlins, but there's little difference between a monster and a normal human being in the space of a few pixels. Death Race wasn't anything special, but once what? the Associated Press ran an article about it, Chase Pedestrian, <laughs> bless you. Oh, my that's allergies a, are so bad today. That's a hilarious thing, dude. Weirdly comparing the. Oh yeah, that fan in the background is our germinator. It's for our allergies. It's not working. Well, we just put it on, so. But sorry about that. Games digital beeps to the scream of a child. It was off to the digital <laughs> races. <laughs> After that, various <laughs> articles denounced the game as sick and more and called for its removal from arcades. The end result, Death Race sold very, very well. And in yeah, 1976, right. Exidy made three million thanks to Death Race alone. Exidy released- Look, look at your face. Look at your face off camera. Look, look at you. All the way off camera My drinking that drink. Games camera. until 1989. <laughs> It's still on camera. Violent video games? It's just right here. Really it's just a disembodied hand that's feeding you drinks. Mortal Kombat. Way yeah, back in the early 90s, Nintendo Kombat. controlled 90% of the United States video game market, but okay. it had a Damn. powerful rival. Sega managed to create Sega. a unique niche for itself by promoting their 16-bit Sega Genesis as a more mature, edgier product than the Super Nintendo, which was portrayed as a family-friendly toy. Enter right. the notoriously yeah. bloody fighting game, Mortal Kombat. As the only, oh, yeah, bloody? the only game I had for Sega was, yeah! After a you successful arcade release, both Nintendo Bow, and Sega had to make a choice when it came to their console Walk editions. Your bitch ass down. To censor? or not to censor. Sega went for blood, albeit in a roundabout <laughs> way, with an easy to remember <laughs> cheat code to unlock the game's gore. But Nintendo <laughs> kept it clean. 
Stomp this bitch out, nigga. Give me your fucking heart. That's As a result, so the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat sold more copies than its <laughs> Nintendo cousin, inadvertently proving Sega's point. The Genesis really was the system to usher in the next era of and game. And it's cheaper. Look at them shit. Night Trap. Yep. There's oh, yeah, only this one's one super funny. reason you've heard of Night this? Trap. And yeah. it's not because so the 1992 full motion video game is any good. I'm so confused. <laughs> In 1993, What's when the United on? States Senate held a hearing about the effects of video games on players, politicians singled out <laughs> Night Trap and Mortal Kombat as particularly egregious examples of video game violence. Okay. The second game is Night Trap, which is a game set in a sorority house. The object is to keep hooded men from hanging the young woman. From a hook. <laughs> Complaints from what? parents followed, and Sega pulled Night Trap from store shelves right before Christmas, <laughs> promising to release a censored version down the line. But instead of keeping the contents under wraps, the Senate hearings boosted the game's profile That's on a national so scale. Funny. When Night Trap came out for PC and Mac in 1994, digital pictures specifically oh, used the controversy so as a bad. selling point. The real kicker? The ESRB, which was founded as a direct response rated to these e. things, rated the upcoming Night Trap remaster T for Team, appropriate That's for so players 13 funny. and up. What? Man, Rockstar Games oh, yeah, this one's well fucked acquainted up. with controversy what being the folks behind yeah. the Grand Theft Auto series and all. But despite critics' claims, Grand Theft Auto doesn't force you to run over hookers or innocent pedestrians. For the right. most part, the only people that you'll have to kill are other criminals. Right. Rockstar's manhunt is different. Speaking to Games Radar, a former Rockstar employee revealed the game's troubled history, revealing that company employees threatened to mutiny because of the game's excessively violent <gasps> content, yeah. saying, with GTA, we always had the excuse yeah. that your gameplay was untethered. You could play completely ethically if you wanted. Manhunt, <laughs> though, just made us all feel icky. It was all about the violence, and it was realistic violence. Yeah, man. The rest of the world responded similarly. Politicians introduced the legislation to find retailers that sold mature games to Jesus. kids and yeah, after just, an alleged Manhunt fan murdered a 14 year old with a hammer mimicking one of Manhunt's grisly kills that's all it takes with the one entirely. That's when all Rockstar it takes decided one. to press ahead with an even more depraved sequel they didn't even have to do much marketing as the New York what? Times noted Manhunt 2 has received free publicity and media attention it would have never enjoyed were it not for the presumably unwitting complicity of the ratings boards and self-appointed media Watchdogs. Oh my god. It is called Manhunt 2. Just and on I must TV. Warn you, there is nothing about this that is not disturbing. Honey <laughs> Pop. It's uh, not just violence that attracts senses. We never finished Sex that game, is a man. Big problem too, mm -hmm. especially in North America. Take Honey Pop, for example, a game that fuses match three puzzles with a visual novel. But it also asks My dumb ass always thought you were supposed to romance one girl. Women succeed, and you'll not only Fucked get up. down with your digital lady, but you'll also unlock some explicit illustrations. Yeah. Critics begrudgingly agreed that it's a good puzzle game. But at it its is core, a good it's time. pretty fun. clearly It is actually important. fun. While Honey Pop is Check right it at home the among the visual and all that novels stuff. produced in Japan, it's awfully racy for mainstream American Wait, what? outlets. We and did it's not been make both it banned no, there's other games. and heavily yeah. censored on Steam. But that controversy also generated awareness. Honey also, Pop. shout out to everybody who spammed my email address with uncensored patches for the Steam game. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Y'all have my best interest in mind. <laughs> Both. Moved around 540,000 copies in its oh edited form, which isn't bad for a niche title. Of course, there's a catch. Shortly after Honey Pop arrived on Steam, the game's developers released a free patch that restored their yeah. hidden content, yeah. voiding the Steam and post <laughs> censorship. Point <laughs> oh perverts. Post two. He said pervert. Look the fuck you played that shit. The difference that censorship made for the Postal, postal franchise this is clear. Fucking the twisted, first man. Postal received mediocre reviews and didn't make much of an impact. Aside from an attempted ban championed Video by Senator Joe Lieber, its sequel, Postal 2, spawned a feature film spin-off, broke sales records, and continues to receive expansion packs and new content from its developer, what? even though the game is 15 years old. Yeah. So, what changed? Why? The New Zealand government succeeded in banning Postal 2. Oh. 
surrounds the, the game is designed that and has the capacity to allow the players to test how much violence and humiliation he or she can inflict on human beings. Is it really? Australia yeah. refused to certify the game, effectively yeah. making it illegal in the country. The Swedish government tried and failed to sue Postal 2's local distributor for selling violent content. All of these things just ended up promoting the game. Postal 2 even received an expansion pack in 2015 and a modern Ew. remaster of yeah. the first game arrived in 2016. Plans this for Postal so 4 awful. are really underway, and if oh, history Jesus. is any indication, it'll freak out people all over again. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon just, to subscribe to our just YouTube channel. Just go through channel. and fuck people up. I've definitely Why? seen that video, but that's what it is. Postal, and they came out with a movie too. The movie was the same shit. The movie was just about going around fucking killing people, the whole movie. I don't understand games that are like that. Like, Honey Pop is probably the only game on here that appeals to me. Yeah, it's fun though. It's a fun sex game. It's not a sex game. You go through and you put your dick around women, be like, yo, you want this for like an hour? And then finally be like, yeah. Right? Oh my God. That's what it is. Art imitates life or does life imitate art? We try to imitate Honey Pop. You know you do. So you come around here often. Ew, get away from me. I still like you. You want to go out sometime? No. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> With your... Fat ass. It's your fat ass dude. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Fat ass dude.